Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Things are gonna sound much different because I got a new microphone. I'm still playing with the settings so I might be super loud now. But that's a little bit better than me being super quiet. I can always adjust this in editing if I think I'm really, really loud. I, it's just, it's hard to tell right now. But, you know, we're, we're doing this step at a time, step at a time, and I'm learning. You know, new mic, new setup, new everything, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do this step by step. But anyway, we've got a new run today. We're gonna be playing Isaac, and uh, yeah, here's hoping we don't die. Ugh. So, looking at everything, the volume looks fine. My volume looks fine, but it's really gonna depend on just how it sounds afterwards. I'm taking notes to see how everything looks. Ooh, tractor beam or sharp straw? We're gonna take sharp straw. So, sharp tractor beam, I, uh, no. <laughs> Let me show you what sharp straw does. So, sharp straw does damage to everybody. I think about 10% damage and it recharges so it's just one of those things that you're going to be doing constant room damage to everybody is it 10 percent i think it's like a base amount of damage based upon like your damage plus 10 percent i don't i don't remember uh right i gotta look for tinted rockus Oh god, no, 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 I didn't want to lose a part of my safety heart. Dang it. Oh well. How much you can do about it when you're dumb like me. Uh. Alright. Hey! So we're gonna leave that. I should have left the last one. A good common thing to do for anybody who's learning the binding of Isaac, like I am. Uh, if you've got, uh,. Soul hearts on the ground on the first floor, leave them. Because we don't have a. That was close. Because we don't have a devil deal to protect right now. What we do have. It's just a regular boss fight. Alright. Ooh, we get famine. So this is a horseman. Horsemen are gonna give us something called an orbital. So, uh,. You may remember those godflies around us. So those are orbitals. They do two things. One, they um, they block shots. Two, they deal damage on contact. And it's good if you are doing very little damage. Like we are. But it also tends to make people play very aggressively. Uh, we're not gonna do that. Ooh, the Book of Revelations. And we've got the Cube of Meat. So we get a nice cube of meat that will rotate around us the entire time. And then as long as it's making contact with an enemy, you know, you're gonna deal contact damage. So that's something that we may have to use. Something that we may not have to use. Looking for any kind of a tinted rock. We do not have any, it looks like. I'm gonna grab that. We learned our lesson last time. Uh... <sighs> Just because there are uh, pills on the ground doesn't mean you should necessarily take all of them. Now, if we want a fun run sometime, I could always be persuaded to uh, go ahead and take, you know, a uh, all pills run type of deal. You know, you never know. Could be interesting. Could be fun. It's just something to consider, honestly. All right. So if you remember, this is uh, where we can start getting devil deals. So as long as we don't take, okay, a dirty diaper. You stink. Cool. We have a straw sticking out of our head and we stink. Um, I don't know what that does. But, um, as I was saying, uh, we have devil deals. And as you can see on the right side, as we discussed last time, we've got a 100% chance for a devil deal. And every time you don't have a successful devil deal, that will go up. Um, you feel her love. I don't know what they do. Um, and I still don't know when I'm allowed to, uh, start using mods. I think I have to beat this upcoming boss? I'm unsure. 
Like the boss that we should have done last time, but because I'm bad, we didn't. But one of those mods that I want to add actually tells me, like, what items do. Like, oh, this item does this. You know, that way, while we're still learning, we're actually, like, learning. Granted, some of the learning is taking things and, you know, being destroyed. Alright, we got ourselves the Lost Fly. It's a protector. So he does massive damage to, oh god, anything that touches him. Ah, 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 ah. That's why I was afraid of him. Because he's an explodey boy. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's worth it. That was not worth it. Let's guess it doesn't have a key! That's right, it's me! And we have... Ow. No money either, so... Not being able to get into the shop is fine by me. Hi, ya! Uh... Well, that was lame. Hey, we got a key! We don't have a bomb, but there's nothing to blow up anyway. Let's see what's in this golden chest. Cricket's head. That's a damage multiplier. Heck yeah, we just doubled our damage. Almost. Look how sad he is. He just found out that Cricket died. Yeah, you'll learn that a lot of uh, Isaac's animals are dead. There's Cricket's head, there's Cricket's body, there's Guppy's head, there's Guppy's body, there's Guppy's tail, there's Guppy's paw. Alright, we got the belly button. Gives us a second trinket. We got a lucky rock. Those are good. Alright, we got Goat Head and I think that's Brother Bobby. So we'll take Goat Head and call that a day. Now we're guaranteed the uh, Devil Deals no matter what. So lucky rock. I believe uh, every rock that blows up uh, will give us money. I believe that's what it does. I do not fully remember. But now we can carry two trinkets. Ah. 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 Uh -huh. Alright, blow that up. So it may look like that our, our straw item is kind of just like a useless thing, but I, trust me, it'll come in clutch, I promise, at, at some point. I'm telling ya. Just because you dislike straws does not mean the straw is bad. Mm. Alright, now that we've got actual, like, bombs. Let's... Yay, we got some money. That's our second coin. Alright, oh, did we even check the trap room? We did not. Ah, we need consumables. Hey, we got a key! So, this upcoming boss fight, we're hoping for one of three things. We're hoping for health, damage, or we're hoping for a, um, horseman. So, there's an achievement, and I think an unlock, for getting four of the same orbital. So, four cubes of meat. I'm not going to tell you why. You'll have to wait for us to get it, to find out. And there are ways to force that, too. Uh, there's an item that will actually create more cubes of meat. And there's an item that will force, um... The horseman fight. Acid, baby. Pills. Pills, pills. So now that we have acid, baby, we're kind of hoping for the item... Uh, that almost hit us, by the way. The item... What's it called? Um, what's it called? PhD. 
Ah, shit. Wrong place. Oh, we still got it. Nice. So, PhD is, uh, you basically can see, uh, what items are what. Yay, we got a secret room! There's a chance that there's a door right here and it's still- Aha! So we can get in without spending all key! I kind of suspected it'd be right there, but I wasn't sure. So that's why I didn't do anything yet. So, let's go see what's in our library. Look how sad he is! He's crying! Ooh. Ooh! Car battery. So, car battery is an interesting one. Car battery is a double use of your spacebar item. So, in the case of this... Well, you tell me. We just got incredibly lucky that it just dropped... And there's Guppy's tail, so... Here's an issue. So, Guppy's Tail, great item to have. However, the opportunity to find keys are going to diminish. Uh, let's go for it anyway. So, now we've got a beating heart, and we've got a tail wrapped around us, and a floating chunk of meat. All in all, I call that a good day. So, um, yeah. So, now with our double charge on our, uh, bloody straw, we're kind of going to decimate lesser enemies. Almost instantaneously. Uh, we're gonna tap that whenever we find more hearts on the ground. Actually, how many hearts are in here? Half a heart. So we can tap it again. Money for life. Let's go, boys! Oh. I thought I was gonna break that. Alright. There's a tented rock! Uh, it also increases the number of chests you get. So that's kind of the trade-off. You get more chests, but less. Oh god, these are fast! I did not expect the speed! I did not mean to open that, but we got two. Okay, so we can actually spend a lot of money now. Or uh, spend a lot of hearts on that. So we're gonna tap it three times. A rap tap tapping on that door, and we're gonna bleed even more. What dime? Yo, nope. That's a boss trap room. If we're feeling really gutsy, we can try it. But I'm not feeling particularly gutsy. Are you? All right, we can tap it uno mas. So every time you tap it, there's a chance for the uh, blood bank, that's what this is, to break. You can also bomb it to break it. Like that. Uh, but if you break it by just giving it so many hearts, it has a chance to give you the IV bag item or the blood bag item. The blood bag gives you a full heal and gives you an extra heart container. The uh, IV bag on the other hand, or yeah, on the other hand, all it does is, um, uh, it, it's basically a portable, it's a portable blood bank. So you get money for hurting yourself. We're gonna take this room nice and die. We're gonna take this room nice and die. Let's do it. Waste our keys. Dark Bum. Okay, Dark Bum. I think we've said this. Uh, he will eat red hearts. 
In exchange, he will give you attack spiders, enemy spiders, or he will give you... Um... Uh, soul hearts. So, okay. Now, nightlight. Nightlight's fun because it will reveal to you if you look at the wall, the uh, it will tell you where the secret rooms are, secret and super secret. So right now we're just gonna kind of look. Definitely can't be over there. Can't be right there. Has a chance to be here. It does not. It is not. So neither of them have been somewhere we have seen yet. It's unfortunate that we were not able to get into the uh, store or anything for free, but you know what? Hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. You know, it's just that's how it'd be. Or is it the Splunker's helmet I'm thinking of? Uh oh. I might be thinking of the Splunk. Oh, it is the Splunker's helmet I'm thinking of. Attack spider. So attack spiders are blue and do one and a half times your damage. Ah, I don't want to open that. Yeah, it's definitely the, um, right there. Super secret. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. The Fallen. A chance to get a devil deal item, y'all. That's actually really good for us. I hate it when they split, though. Because they have a devastating brimstone attack. Gimpy is interesting. So what Gimpy does is if you take damage, it has a chance to give you a... Okay. So that's Cricket's body. Or not Cricket's body. That's Guppy's body. And that is the Whore of Babylon. So, Whore of Babylon, if we go down to, uh, no red heart. Ooh, we got the parasite. Oops, did not mean to do that. So, if we go down to half a heart or less, the Whore of Babylon activates and we do, and basically it's a stats up. More damage, more range, shot speed, tears up, all that type of deal. But if we have over that, you know, it's just base stats. So, right now, we kind of want to look for a, uh... Blood bank. Or something. Of that nature. Ah, uh, that's in a bad place. Star Scarred! Okay, what is this? A juicy sack. We got <gasps> Buddy in a box! We got ourselves a Buddy in a box. Oh, by the way, so there are transformations in this game. So what transformations are are that um, if you get, I think, three items in a set, uh, you get a special transformation. So right now, the transformation we're closest to is the guppy transformation. And that's if you get three guppy items. Oh god. So guppy transformation is probably one of the better transformations. So what the Guppy transformation does is, uh, it gives you flight, and, uh, every time your tear hits an enemy, it produces an attack fly. Attack flies do one and a half to two and a half your, uh, damage, I believe. You know what? Luck? up oh yeah we're not gonna always take them wow we've gotten very lucky with our buddy here he has given us some good stuffs he's not normally so kind to people all right so black chests like that have a very high percentage chance of you of revealing, um, like, Mr. Mega. Nice. We're unlocking all these items and I don't know how. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, black, uh, 
so the uh, rock chests, they have a very high chance of uh, producing like a devil deal item of sorts. Like, uh, every different type of chest has their own, uh, loot table. Oh. Mom's key. Plus two keys and increased chance to, uh, get keys. That's amazing. So, Mom's key right there just counteracted our entire issue with, um, uh, Guppy's tail. So, now we're... We're kind of sitting pretty, so. Alright. So we did put items away in there, but we took some, uh, so, yeah. We put money away. But then we took more money out. Also, super secret room. Ooh, I think we're gonna take the liberty cap. So what the liberty cap can do is it can proc, uh, one of the, um, one of a few mushroom abilities. One of those is the ability to see, uh, the map briefly. So that's what we're doing. We're looking for where the boss is and if there's any special secret, uh, uh, any secret, not secret, but special rooms. That's the word I'm looking for. So it has a chance to proc every time you go through a door. Either it has it, I'm really unlucky with procs or I don't know what I'm doing. There's a chance of that one too, whatever. We'll just keep the Liberty Cap for now. Screw it. Yo, we took a chance and we got our investment back. So there are enemy types called champions. So a champion enemy is different than the normal enemy in looks as well as abilities. So they are different um, colored. Like they can be orange, black, kind of like green. This is not a champion. That's just a different enemy type, period. But uh, another thing about uh, champions is they deal full hearts of damage always oh my god I can't believe we dodged those oh doggy but um yeah so it's something for us to keep an our our eye out for as well as just be aware of in general and we'll just Wait, and pop that. Wow. That right there. Walnut. Okay. Um. Screw it. I'll take that over Liberty Cap. So if we take damage, Walnut will activate. If we take enough damage, I should say, Walnut will activate. Ah, sh darn it. It appears that our friend Monstro is stuck. So another thing Sharp Straw does, which I haven't actually talked about because I didn't really think about it until now, is it has a chance of spawning a half heart every time we use it. Which combined with the fact that we have um, uh, the double charge on it. Oh my god, we just got Brimstone and Mini Brimstone. So say goodbye to Tears and say hello to Blood Lasers. So, uh, this should be a GG and we should win now. If we lose here, I'm really bad at Isaac. Oof. <sighs> uh, 
also we've got the Horror of Babylon proc too. So we're gonna do a lot of damage. This is probably one of the better items we could have picked up. Ugh, ghosts. We don't need regular chests at this point. What we're looking for are fun things. All right, nothing around here. Also, it's 100% a piercing attack. So, when I say we're sitting pretty now, we're sitting really pretty. Like, we're sitting golden. Please be here. Yo. We're finding all of the things. Well, a matchstick. That increases the chance of finding bombs. This is probably the best run we've had in the game thus far. And we get our devil deal early. We get the ceremonial robes. And we could take black powder if we want, but we don't. If we get a health up, we'll take it. Or we'll... Nah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll take it. Not yet. We'll think about that later. That increases our speed, which I do not think we need. We don't need to go fast, boys. Oh my god, we almost walked into that. Ooh. Now this. Hehe, <laughs> wiggle waggle. Yo, let's wiggly waggly all over this place. Eh, sure. Hehe. <laughs> Wiggly! Wiggly, jiggly, 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 jiggly. So another reason we want to get our attack up is because it'll increase the amount of damage our attack spiders are doing. Also, the juicy sack, we never talked about what it did. Uh, it lays down this white creep that slows enemies who step on it. Same with our nightlight. Any enemy in our nightlight slows down, including their shots. Uh, that increases our fire rate but lowers our damage a little. It increases how fast we can shoot our lasers. We got the fool card. We have defeated the sin. That's okay. We didn't really care about that sin. What floor are we on? I don't know what floor we're on. But either way, we are flying through the game. If we were a little faster at the beginning, we could have done what is referred to as boss rush. It is something we will eventually have to do on every character to do unlocks and things. But we'll save those for when we're a lot better. So what a boss rush is, is consider... Uh, every possible boss you can get in the, early, in the entire game. Except for, like, end game bosses. So, like, you know. You can't get the mom foot here. In Boss Rush. But you're basically doing... 15 waves of two bosses at a time. Non-stop, like. You just go, 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 go. Type of deal. Welcome to the w well. Curse of the XL. That means uh, we just find the bosses once and we're done. GG. But that also means we do not have a chance of getting Guppy. Help. Rip. I just took a ton of damage there. Uh, that does not matter anymore. Really sad because we had a very good chance of like unlocking Guppy. And now we do not have that chance. But, oh well. Well, not unlocking Guppy, but like, achieving Guppy on a video. We got Guppy on a video! Oh, we unlocked Guppy's hairball. So, um... 
We now have a fly generator. We can generate a ton of flies. Do we want to fly? Uh, wait, no, we are a literal fly generator. So every time our brimstone touches, and we just got a golden key. So that's GG game. So a golden key allows you to open up anything without... Mr. Me? Oh my god. Essentially, golden key, there's- oh my god, a rotten penny. Yo, we're just- So, this is how powerful we are. Oh, baby. Uh, I'll finish my thought in a minute. Okay. A golden key, there are golden keys and golden bombs. A golden key will, uh, allow you to open up as many things as you want without wasting it. A golden bomb allows you to place down as many bombs as you want without wasting them. Oh god. Oops. I don't know why I'm bothering to grab money and stuff, but you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna, you know, sit here pretty with some money. We're just, we're just gonna do whatever we want. There's nothing we can't. We're just gonna go and beat all the band. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. So, um, yeah, we're doing really good. Like, we're doing really good. The moon, this will take us to a secret room. To be honest, right now I'm more upset about the fact that we can't do one last devil deal. Oh, so Bob's brain that we got right there. What that does is, um... Essentially, I just throw out a explosive brain. That's all it does. People dislike Bob's brain because people tend to uh, not know how to use it. Because it respawns unpredictably. So basically, imagine a floating explosive that can hurt you really badly. Oh, and also, uh, it responds whenever it wants. Oh, and also, uh, it hates you. Except, there is a Bob transformation. If you can find the three Bob items, I think? I don't remember how to get the Bob transformation. There's Bob's brain. There's, uh, Bob's Rotten Head. There's gotta be another Bob item somewhere. I don't remember what it is. Please let me know what the other Bob item is as we're learning how to be overpowered. Actually, this is a good screenshot, yo. Yeah. Cool. Also, tell me what you guys want to look for, what, what you guys look for in a screenshot. I'm trying to learn to do better. And you all can help me with that. Okay, so another thing. Uh, the womb floor. So everything past the first mom fight that we did, with like the mom's foot and all that, um... After that, you don't, um, there are no more items, or no more item rooms, there are no more, uh, shops, unless you have special little trinkets. Ah, dang it. Uh, I think it's the bloody crown, and I don't remember what the other one is. The bloody crown gets you item rooms in the womb floors. So normally there are two womb floors. However, we got Curse of the Extra Large. Curse of the XL. So what that does is basically combines the two womb floors into one. You can get that on the first, third, 
fifth. Yeah, the first, third, and fifth level or floor. Uh, and basically, what it do is um, mashes the two on top of each other. So you got two boss fights in a row. You've got two, you know, uh, in the normal floors, you get two item rooms. You only get one shop, though. Uh, but the thing is, like I was complaining about earlier, we lose a chance for a deal with the devil. Because normally we'd get it right here. So Skolex, you can only hurt his butthole. Like so. Oh, hey, look. Speedball. Oh, God. A mean spider. How could you betray me at the last minute? And mom's heart. This is what we unlocked by beating mom. And this is how overpowered we are. Oh, we got our devil deal, though. We can continue forward. Let's go down, down, in an early around. Welcome, we unlocked Eden. Yo, we got the Eden character. Welcome to Shoal. This is an area we will eventually unlock to come to normally. I don't know how to unlock it, obviously. So eventually we'll unlock a Polaroid and a negative. The Polaroid allows you to go up and fight a different boss. And the negative allows you to go down and fight a different boss. And by up and down, I literally mean heaven and hell. That's their references, so. <laughs> and I think there are considered... I mean, I guess you can't really consider one of them a super boss. Comparatively to the other two super bosses. Actually, there's four super bosses technically in the game. Infested! You know what? Uh, I was actually going to play that out because we had the money. Oh well. Does this work? It does! Oh my god! We got to the dark room! Now this is a place you should not be able to get to yet. Oh god. Like 100% should not be able to do this. But you know what? We've got a powerful enough run that I say... Let's go. So say hello to essentially a major boss rush, especially of bosses we've never seen before. This is like an end-all be-all. Like, this is something we should not be doing yet. And you know what? We'll take it. Holy shot. I. Now some of our uh, blood beams will shoot a uh, holy rays of light. Yo, we are so good right now. This is the Mask of Infamy. He's angry. He's dead. You know what? Screw it. Let's take Bum Friend. He's greedy. Oh my god, if we can get the last Bum, we can get another Bum transformation. That is amazing. So there's Dark Bum, there's Bum, and then there's Key Beggar. Yo, we're just getting, like, everything today. The Book of Sin. Yo. The Hierophant. Yo, that's much better. Yo, we've all but forgotten about our fucking uh, space bar item. Like, who needs them? We've got a blood laser and a floating brain bomb. Like, holy crap. Also, we've got, like, health everywhere. 
Oh, telepathy for dummies, actually. That is better. And I will tell you why as soon as we... Mm. You know what? Let's do a full clear of the dark room. We've never been here before. Uh, and we won't be here normally or legitimately for a while. Hmm. So, I'm here for some fun. We can collect some more items, maybe even unlock some more things. I don't know. Yo, God's flesh. It's like God's plan. Yo, if we get one more mushroom item, we get the mushroom transformation? So if you're curious what God's Flesh does is, uh, it has the chance to make an enemy mini. Now, many item enemies you can walk on to squish. It's about as fun as you would expect. Uh-oh. But, uh, they also will grow big unexpectedly. So, can be unpredictable. Oops. It's wrath! Oops. Sorry, coin friend. Uh, we're checking for the secret room. The super secret room. I don't know where it would be, though. That is Widow. He's been sad ever since he lost his wife. There you go, bum friend. He will give you random consumables. So this is how you unlock another, uh person who's not even on the list but uh we're very not ready for him or to unlock him so um let's go be the ultimate uh downstairs person also known as i'll let the game introduce them the lamb baby bender so what uh, this does, it gives us a homing shot. Like so. Do we want to do a victory lap? Let's go. Lost poster. The gate is open. The angel awaits. You unlock challenge number 31. Dead boy achieved. So, victory laps. Um, victory laps is just go back through the game and beat it as fast as you can. I don't think you can do any unlocks, though, on a victory lap. But it's just a way of being like, yeah, I'm overpowered. What about it? <laughs> and you know what? That's exactly how I want to be like. <laughs> yeah, we're overpowered. So what about it? Just more items, just more everything. Like Bumble has coin. It's like theoretically you should beat this in like seconds flat. Uh, you can't donate though on your victory lap. Darn. Oh, we have Curse of the Lost, it looks like. No, Curse of the Maze, that's it. We have Curse of the Maze, which causes uh, us to just randomly just, you know, yeah. The Duke of Flies. Mr. Dolly? Let's keep going, shall we? So we just unlocked one of the uh, super bosses, by the way, when it said the portal is open. That's a secret boss. Very difficult, because he doesn't have normal HP. What he has is... Okay, let's just get a second Dark Bum. Oh, I don't think I can unlock things, but whatever. Actually, this will activate our whore. What? What? 
it's not unlocking our whole uh oh because it takes a full heart i see oh well, let's use our hierophant real quick kind of sad but whatever we must stay pure I say as we immediately pop in here and... Oh, a second guppy's tail? Sure. Bob's rotten head. Ah, screw it. I was gonna see if I can't, couldn't herd that towards the door so that we can just, you know... What's in here? A global reroll. Oh, it was a D100! Oh my god. So we just re-rolled our entire build. So we have spoon bent. Let's see, what do we have? I don't know what we have. Uh, we've got spoon bender. We've got um, brimstone. We've got the uh, ring. We're uh, overpowered. Nothing's going to stand in our way now. We just got restock, which means the uh, store will never run out of things. Ever. We got the Hermit card, that's all I care about. Let's just go, shall we? Let's just say, well, I'll let you take a look. Magic 8-Ball. Oh, hey, look, another Guppy item. Oh, we lost our uh, telepathy for dummies. Oh, well. We don't need it because we have a... <laughs> We've got Spoonbender. Oh, my God. Uh, we also have 19 lives, by the way. Looks like we got Guppy's Collar, too. Like, oh my god. I don't think we need to do anything in this game, but just move forward. Like, anything we touch is dead. Looks like we got Sackhead. It's just so much for me to talk about right now. I just, I, I, I don't even know how. <laughs> this was not expected to say the least. I don't even need the store, but I want to find it. Why? Because I can. This is going to be our longest run yet in the game, but you know what? It is absolutely freaking lootly worth it. Broken stopwatch I do not want. That's a bad item. Boomerang, eh? Oh, apparently we have, uh... Oh my god. Oh, uh, well, with compost, the that's a GG. This game's over, by the way. Nun's habit. Sackhead. We're just gonna sit here and buy everything. That was Mama Mega. Sister Mo- Spider Mod! Alright. Oh, chaos. You know what? Let's have fun. Chaos. So, what does chaos do? It, uh, changes absolutely everything. Any item can come from anywhere. Another Gimpy? Sure. Mom's box. Nah. So compost. What does compost do? 
It uh, doubles your spiders and flies. Just flat out. Spider mod. What does spider mod do? It uh, tells you the health of enemies and how much damage you're doing. And they're dead. Got ourselves a halo of flies. So, we don't know what's gonna come up. We don't know anything. All we know is, uh... This game is broken. We have done our first broken game. First of hopefully many. Oh, well, it's not even broken. We didn't break it. We're just broken. Bobby bombs. Speedball. So, yeah. We're just gonna do what we do. I don't know where we're going, but I sure know where we've been. I think we have Turdy Touch. I think that's what it's called. Sure, let's take Little Horn. Oh, the treasure map would be so nice to have, though. Oh, we have Humbling Bundle, by the way. In case you don't know what Humbling Bundle is, it, uh... It just... All of your drops are guaranteed to be bundled together. So... Instead of one coin, it's two coins. Instead of one bomb, it's two bombs. Instead of one key, it's two keys. Oh my god. And we got sad bombs. So, look at sad bombs. It chews out... Homing blood lasers. We... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh my. Oh my god. There's just. We have so many items, I don't even know what items we have anymore. We're just. I think we have Holy Mantle. Or we have Blanky. I'm unsure, to be honest. Yeah, honestly, at this point, we're just... Oh my god. We're just... We're just trying to find the end. Meat? That's some more damage. Like, this isn't even a ton of damage, to be honest. Six. If we take the Bible, we're kind of guaranteed to, uh... You know what? Let's take the Bible. I want to show off what the Bible can do. Uh... Oops. Oh, we still have Lucky Rock, so we can just... There we go. So, say goodbye to, uh, Compost. Say hello to the Bible. Oh, hi, Bobby Bums. Humming Bums. Sure, we'll take our cool uh, ceremonial robes again. Heck yeah. What's this? All right, this is the mom fight. If you thought the last one was fast, well, it wasn't. Not comparatively. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Can anyone say pure and utter destruction? Um, sure. 
Yeah, I might as well have some coins just in case. You never know what's gonna pop up in this game. Oh, and we just find the bomb fight. Screw it. Bible's an insta-kill, by the way. Uh, we unlock the, uh, boss fight. Mm. We got the mushroom transformation. Doesn't unlock anything, though, so... So, 15 rounds of just kind of... Pure and utter demolination. That's brownie. Whoops. We're killing them so fast. Oh, they're starting to get a bit more health. Oh man, guys, isn't this just so hard? Lol. Raise your hand if you feel bad for these bosses. Oh, I forgot Polycephalus is multiple splits. Alright, we're almost done. Well, that was Cage. That was, uh, Load. We're almost done. Duke of Flies. And we got Buddy in a Box. Yo, it's an Afro baby. Ah, and we still have that uh, cursed eye. Ah! Ah, sure. Why not? Let's get crazy here. All right. Well, now we just want to get to mom. So yeah, you can only do boss rush if you can get to the mom's foot fight in under 20 minutes. Uh, so, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Don't care about what's over there. Also, you can just bomb through rooms if you don't want to fight them. In our case, it's just, it's actually faster just to take out the rooms. Okay, wrong way again. Okay, there we go. Loki is dead. Oh, bomb's key again. It's a box of stuff. Ah. Uh, you know what? Let's take the Book of Sin. Just kidding. We're gonna take the Bible. Still. Because guess what else it kills in one hit? Mom's heart. Ah, oh, Curse of the Maze. Are you kidding me, yo? Ugh. Oh, we got a Pac-Man ghost. Da-da-da-da-da-da. So Buddy in a Box gives you random buddies, apparently. Yeah, I, I really don't know a lot about this game, unfortunately. That's what I thought. I just like killing those things. Ugh! No, mom. Why couldn't I bomb in here? Oh, that's why. If you're wondering what that uh, little jiggle in the upper right hand corner was, that was the uh, map cursing us and moving uh, things around. 
The only thing that would be better right now is if our uh, tier went faster. And that's an insta kill. We can go to Satan again, but we're going to end it right here, everybody. That's our best run, our longest run, and oh my god. What's in there, Isaac? It's you. <gasps> That's how you unlock Eden. So. Yo, that was, again, our best ever run. Holy crap. Isaac. Like, so we still gotta get Magdalene. We got Kane. We gotta get Judas, Eve, Samson. These two hopefully will do it at the same time. Azazel, Lazarus, Eden's unlocked. Lilith, Polyon. But oh my god, I am just flabbergasted by that run. It was amazing. Let me know what you guys like the most about that run. And um, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody. Stay funky people.